Sign. What's up, you guys? It is Chespin Junior ninety eight here, back with another kind of tutorial. Actually, it is a tutorial. I'm gonna I'm make a tutorial on on a very requested question and um ask question in my channel. How do I do my intros? So right here, I am going to demonstrate you guys how I do a intro. This intro is for Raging Cyndaquil. So. <clears throat> Hope you guys like how I'm going to make this tutorial on how to do his intro. And I hope you guys go check it out, his channel. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out and see this intro. <clears throat> so, here are the basics we're going to need. We're going to need Camtasia Studio. Well, that's, I don't know if, I mean, you can use any editing software, but for this, I'm going to use Camtasia Studio. And we're going to need, well, he, he gave me the avatar of his channel. The name of his channel and Pokemon that he wants in chan in the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to <clears throat> kind of make it similar as the one I have, but it won't be as similar. So once you have here right here is a preview. And to make it bigger all you have to do is stretch it but you guys can see it's like doesn't look good so if you like stretch it like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a corner and press shift so that way the size does not get alter it. Like, doesn't mess it up and it keeps its um, original form. Just makes it bigger. So, I think that's pretty okay. And to add animation, this is actually a pretty cool tool. tool. So, to add animation, you have to drag the picture outside where you can't see it. Have it selected right here and then go to visual properties right here and press add animation and I'm gonna make this character go f from up all the way down okay so we're gonna do this we're gonna do him making it going down and now you can see you can extend the duration let's play it okay <clears throat> Oh yeah, 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 I started the wrong way, so we're going to start from here making it going down. So let's do, just delete this animation. Cut. We're going to move it up here. And we're going to, at the very beginning, we're going to press add animation. And we're going to move it and drag it. And whatever you do, that's going to be the animation. So you guys can see I'm going to leave it like that. You can shoot the animation as much as you want. The shorter it is, the better. So let's just play it. See how it's going to be. So you can see the character. So actually, I'm going to make this um, intro a bit different than mine. So that's just to show you guys the animation. We don't cut. We're going to cut everything. And we're actually going to put the syndical. Um, this one at the beginning, right here. We're gonna make it big. See, we'll make we'll make it like super small. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna make it super small, and this is a, actually a very awesome animation that I use. So we go to visual properties, add animation. Yeah, from the corners, and you stretch it and just like make it like that. See, that, that I think that's pretty cool. So we just watch replay. It's going to be like like that. And don't worry if it lags a bit in the Camtasia. When you produce it, it's going to be good. So watch. And then if you want to add an effect, like trans transition, you just put um a lot of transition in here. So I'm just going to search up one. What about fade through black? So we're gonna make this small. Let's just play it. Let's see how it is. And then once that happens, we are going to let me just move it up a bit because right here down is where the music's going to be. 
And now, after that's happened, we can now go to Clipin, and now we can add our, our character. Which we're gonna make, nope, nope. I mean, that was pretty cool, like, spin it. But nah, we're not, we're just gonna put it up. And visual properties, add animation, and then drag it. And I forgot to make it big. Let's see how it's gonna appear in the video. That looks pretty cool. And now we're going to add the picture of Typhlosion. We're gonna add him under this. So, okay, nope. We want Typhlosion. So to Flosion, I'm going to definitely make him bigger. Not too big. So yeah, I think that's pretty decent. And now we're going to just do this. Visual properties. Add animation. And put it like that. It looks pretty awesome. And we just extend the animation. Now let's look at the preview of what we have right now. So, so far it's like three seconds. And now, after this, we're gonna add our second Cyndaquil, which is this one. And I'm gonna make it also under it. Drag it a bit and definitely make it smaller because Cynical is small. We're just going to put it like that. So we're going to move it outside where we can't see it. And then we go to visual properties and add animation. And then just drag it to where you want it. I'm just going to leave it like right there. I think it looks pretty decent. I'm going to stretch it a bit. And then we're just going to play and see how fast. Okay, that's a bit too fast. So just do this. Now let's play. Yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. We're going to extend all this. And then after that's done, we're going to add the text. So the text is Raging Syndical. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put these a bit more up. You know what happened? Move up, move you up. Oh, dang it. move up, move you up. And once it's there, we're gonna add the channel name. I mean, if you want, you don't have to, but since you guys can see, the we have to put it in the top because we want it to sh you can be able to see it. So we're gonna just. I mean, I've seen, like, I know some of you guys want, like, the title to, like, vibrate and stuff. So, let me just try and see if I can actually add that effect. So, what we're going to do is we're going to transition this and we're going to put um glow at the beginning. So, you guys can see right here, we're going to put this and we're going to put that right there. It's going to be... Title is going to glow like that. And then right here... This is the complicated part. I don't know if this is going to be able to ha be possible, but I'm going to just like stretch it. Then move this a bit. And then add another animation. This one, you're going to make it small. Move it a bit. Add animation. And then we're going to make it big again. We're trying to make the effect of vibrating. I don't know if this is going to work. If it's not, then just ignore what I'm doing. We'll see the, the results at the end. Now we're going to move it a little bit more. Animation. Make the text big. Move it a bit. Add animation. Okay, what the fuck did I do? Yeah. There we go. And then we move it a little bit 
more. Mm, not too much. Uh, let's see. We can. This thing is going not to allow us, so let me just stretch these things. Let's see if I can be able to do. Uh, uh, let's move it a little bit. Add animation and make it small. Move it a little bit more. Add animation. Big. I think it's going to be like the last one. Add animation and make it small. So let's just. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the music will be, like, at the end. So, I think that's decent. So, let's just do this. Okay, so let's just preview the video since the beginning. Okay, so that looked pretty decent. I mean, we did get the effect we wanted. Let's just see it one more time. Yeah, so... <clears throat> I'm going to make them all the same length. And we're just going to add the song. Delete. So the song isn't okay. So we could actually extend all this to the length of the song. Okay, let's see. This thing is move this a little bit because it's trying to make things confusing. Move this, put it like that, and then this one will be easy. So now let's preview with the song. And this is a cool effect you guys should do whenever you're doing intros. You fade in and then you fade out. That's some awesome thing to do especially if you don't like are you just getting a part of a song that's awesome to do so okay so it's too much in so let me just watch it again and this song is not this is not the song I chose this is the song Raging Syndicate told me to put so let's just see so the text looks pretty okay. The text is just a bit too short. Let's just do this and then let's kind of add some other animation, a couple more anim movements to it. In visual properties, and then we're just gonna do this and add animation. Big, and then move it a little bit. Add animation. Small. One more. Two more, actually. Big. In animation. This is going to be the actual size that I want want it to be. So there we go. And now let's preview the video one more time before we finish rendering it. Okay, so I did not put play. And we're going to let it burn, 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 burn. Yeah, not, Sorry about that. I'm going to put it right here. Press the wrong button. And we're going to let it burn, burn, burn. pretty awesome so let's just produce it 720 next raging raging syndicate and you guys will see how fast it is to render a intro 
It's not even going to take a minute. We're just waiting on the steam. Waiting on the steam. So, yeah. Hope you guys like it. And I'll show you guys the preview of the video once it's finished rendering. And this is actually a very asked question in my channel. Because a lot of people actually like my intros. I'm like, D dude, they're hella easy to make. So I just like decided to make a... Okay, so it's done. So you can now click finish. Then save. This This is just like if you want to edit it. I'm not even just going to put no. Now we're going to get out of here. We're going to go to my shot on battle folder. That's where I have all these videos that I've made. What do we call it again? <coughs> Raging Shin the Quill. So we're, we're going to watch the preview. I'm going to show you guys a preview of it. And, think, and I'll see you guys next time with another Pokemon video. Sorry about that. And we're let gonna let it. So you guys can actually see the full video. Full screen. And peace out. And we're gonna let it burn, burn, burn.